grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I spotlight the beginning of Dwight Eisenhower's quest for the 1952 Republican presidential nomination. At his hometown of Abilene, Kansas, on June 4th, he declared his candidacy. The speech was the former general's first ever public statement on political matters. Quote, evils which can ultimately threaten free government are present in today's situation and must be faced by responsible citizens. He denounced, quote, gradual absorption by the central government of functions that belong to local communities and to individuals. Eisenhower continued, quote, the stifling and costly bureaus that spring out of this prospect are manned by experts in self-perpetuation and ceaseless expansion. We as a people must hold fast to our faith and ideals, which are fundamental to the free system. We must work together in an atmosphere of goodwill and confidence. In blessed contrast to the marathon campaigns for presidential nominations nowadays, Eisenhower jumped into the race just a month before the Republican National Convention. There, he defeated the frontrunner, Senator Robert Taft, and went on to win the election. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.